Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I'm here with our, I think it's May 7th, new releases. We have our August monthly collection here with the weekly, the monthly, the decorative kit. We have another new kit this week and then we have some foil. So let's just go ahead and hop into it. I'm going to start with the August collection first. I think, yeah, we'll do that first and then we'll do the um, other kit and then we'll do the foil. So here is our August collection. Um, it is very, very like wanting me, making me want to take a vacation. So um, obviously it says August up here. You have this little scene with like a chair and this like really pretty foil tree in the pot. You have your florals, of course, this really pretty scene here. So the the city itself is like behind the foil scene and the foil just kind of like is like over it just to, I don't know, I just thought that it was really pretty. Hopefully you guys agree, but super fun, a little bit different than normal, but we still love her. Um, here is the second page of the A5Y 7x9 monthly. We do offer our monthlies in B6 as well. Um, but just keep that in mind, I guess. Um, it's basically the same. You just get a, a little bit less, but you can see them all on the site. Um, not much going on for holidays this month, so you just get a my birthday and a happy birthday. And then here is the... Um, decorative sidebar option but we also have the checklist sidebar option as well if that's what you prefer but here is the decorative one it's just this really pretty stair scene with like a foiled tree and bushes and this little pot down here and some lemons really pretty love her and you can kind of see the colors here but I'll talk about the colors a little bit more on the weekly kit because they do match um, if I can grab the weekly kit. Here is the matching weekly. So some of the same elements, some new elements. So first up here we have that same little like city scene. You have this really pretty door with the like foiled like floral bricks. We have those in the shop now um, if you would like to get those to match this full box, but that's that full box course your florals the quote says every day is your day in the sun um same little chair scene but with a little foiled curtain here we have this same scene from the um the sidebar but the foil is a little bit different the foil like suited a little bit more this way for this scene I feel like than the ones for the sidebar um so yeah really pretty more florals and then this really pretty like water scene with some birds in this boat and some flying birds so there's that next we have the boxes page where you can see the color palette better so we have a yellow a blue a green and a pink of course champagne gold foil as I think I mentioned um, here is the functional page. This header is a little bit different than normal, but she's so pretty. It's like these little sunbursts in this little pattern. So pretty. It's a little bit more busy than what we normally go for, but I'm kind of loving it for this. I don't know. I just think it's such a pretty pattern, and even though it's busy, it's like really simple. And then, of course, you have your foil floral headers and then your lace and all your little watercolor shapes. Look at how, like... Stunning that as well, so pretty. And then of course the bottom washi matches, so you have that same um, like sunburst pattern in the thin strip here. It's almost giving me firework vibes, but not quite. Um, but they are sunbursts, so there's that thin strip in the thick strip with the foil florals. You have your deco down here. A lot of the same pieces that we saw in the full boxes and then of course your date covers here is the um foil sampler this one's actually an oops so that's fun um 
have Phil grab these for me sometimes and sometimes he doesn't check them before he gives them to me. Um, so that's wonderful, it's fine. Um, <laughs> but we have like this sunburst washi here. It's a little bit different than the washi actually was because the washi kind of had it like crisscross to make it look more full but this is just like one direction so you have the washi and the dividers you have some individual some bursts here some of those foiled bricks some birds and then some lemons next we have the deco add-on so we have the florals a lot of the same elements from the full boxes just a little bit bigger so you can really tie them in in your sidebar if you want to make some scenes but yeah, and then we have some birds, some like envelopes, a candle, this really pretty bow, lantern, stuff like that. Look at those trees. Super fun. Here is the journal add-on. You get those two of the scenes from the full boxes in the stamps. And then the floral deco add-on. She is full. This one took me a little while to do, but I think it paid off. <laughs> and then, of course, we have the alcohol ink swatches. Um, so as usual, these new releases that I'm showing you right now are an additional 10% off through this week only. So if you see anything that you like, this week would be your chance to pick them up. So let's go through the decorative kit now. The decorative kit is actually like, when you buy the bundle, it's such a good deal because it's 20% off just for getting the bundle and then you can use like PR codes on that too. And then also you get an additional 10% off of that discounted 20% off amount um, for this week. So honestly, like the decorative bundles are a little crazy um, in the way that we price them, but let's just flip through it. So we have the flowers, the edges. The bouquets, the corners, the so two corners and then some bouquets and some flowers. Then we have the borders with some flowers in the middle just to fill up the space. We have the dates and dots, so you get the pattern ones, the yellow ones, some blank ones, and then some dots. And we have the days, the paper strips, the box swatches, the deco, which basically has a lot of the deco from the deco page just without the florals because you get so many pages of florals before this. We get the washi swatches, which are the full length ones, and then the mini swatches as well. So that is everything for the August 2024 collection. Actually, I lied. I have a washi tape, not a washi tape, a pet tape, and it's chilling right outside my door. When I sat down to film, I knew I was missing something, and this was it. Let's see. This is how you receive the tape. I feel like I always show you guys the tape, like already opened. I guess you have to see what it comes like. Not that that really matters, I guess. Um, here is this little, um, I do this every time. I feel like these are arrows that are telling you which way to peel it off. I don't know if that was intentional, um, but if you peel it off this way, you won't like peel it off the backing and ruin it. Um, let me see, yeah, so here is the pet tape. I'm gonna kind of say that this is the beginning here, sure, um, with the dots. So we have the scene, a lot of florals, some swatches, a lot of the deco, this really pretty big scene here. And then you have this little pot and this lantern and this little, um, mirror and the chair and stuff like that really really pretty it's the same material as all of our other pet tape where it's got the 
um, it's got this backing so that you don't you can cut them out if you want or you can use it as is of course this is not cooperating with me when I need it to which is kind of rude I might just have to have you guys take my word for it I feel like the beginning one is the hardest one to peel up because it was held down by another tape but now this is just embarrassing I've shown you this before so you know that it's a thing I'm just gonna cut her so I have a new edge to peel from So it peels up like this and you have your backing here. So that is that. Thank you for the embarrassment mistape. I'm going to put the tape back on her to keep her closed so she's not rolling around everywhere on my desk while I finish up this video. Let's do the second collection for this week. This one is called Strawberry. I feel like most strawberry kits that we do are rose gold, but this one's gold. Um, so we have your florals, of course, this girl with a really pretty strawberry dress. The quote says, you are the sweetest thing. We have a little cottage here with a foiled tree and some strawberries. And then we have a strawberry field for strawberry picking there, and then a hat and a book and some foiled strawberries. Super fun. I actually went strawberry picking a couple weeks ago. And, um, you know, when you're picking strawberries, you kind of just want to, like, taste them. Like, am I wasting my time picking these and they're not even going to taste good? So, um, we ate a couple, which, I mean, whatever. Um, and one of the people, the guy was like, oh, you can't eat it because, like, the FDA will shut me down or whatever. Like, the food department will shut me down. And I'm just mm -hmm. like... I feel like every, I've never had that, like, people say that to me before, but maybe I'm just wrong. Um, <laughs> but they were very delicious strawberries, and we stopped eating them as soon as he told us not to eat them. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's fine. So here are the colors. We have red, pink, beige, and green. Here is the functional add-on. We have straw add-on. This isn't even add-on. This comes with a kit. Um, we have a strawberry header, the floral headers, and then the lace with that really pretty red. I love the colors in this. The red and green almost give me Christmas vibes. Like if I'm looking at this, it could maybe be a Christmas kit, but it's really pretty with the strawberries. So um, here is the washi page. So you have your strawberry thin strip and then the floral thicker strip your days of the week and then you have a bunch of strawberry deco so we have a strawberry plant um a like jelly jar a butterfly a book with strawberries on it ladybug and a um strawberry basket oh yeah ladybugs when i went there it was like supposed to be a ladybug release day so they're like oh we're gonna be releasing like something crazy like 20 or 40,000 ladybugs or something so here I am thinking and they're like oh you can get a cup of ladybugs like buy a cup of ladybugs to release and I was there with my daughter and I thought it'd be fun sorry I'm like going off on a tangent but whatever I, I'll I already started the story so I'll finish it so um you know my husband was thinking the same as me so I thought it was gonna honestly I thought it was gonna be like a solo cup or something full of ladybugs not maybe not like an insane amount of ladybugs but what we got were like these little it was like maybe this big and it had like five ladybugs in it and I couldn't even like tell my daughter that like three of them were dead um, <laughs> in there. So, you know, they handed out these little jars and I thought they were going to like hand out these cups of ladybugs to people and then they were going to do like a big release like on their own and we were just going to see like, I don't know, like maybe I'm wrong for thinking this, but I just thought we were going to see like they're going to like stand up and like open up a thing and like a bunch of ladybugs are going to come flying down and it's going to be like raining ladybugs onto the strawberry plants. I don't know, but they, I didn't even see them release any of themselves, like the place that we had went to. And every, they're like, oh yeah, just take your little cup of ladybugs and like release it on one of the strawberry plants. And I'm like, well, 
three of these are dead and two of them are barely alive, so I'm not really sure how much health they're going to be doing, but it's fine. Just thought I would share that with you. Um, yeah, we actually stayed longer than we wanted to just so we could see it because we thought it was going to be so amazing. I ended up getting sunburn and I was like overheating and it was just like not, not what I thought it was going to be. But the strawberries were delicious, so that's fine. Anyway, here's the add-on. We have this strawberry washi and a strawberry divider. We have some strawberry like jam jars here and some strawberry like plants, individual strawberries, strawberry like types of flowers. And then we have um, just two baskets of strawberries as well. So there's that. Um, here is the deco add-on. So we have two girls here. We have this book with the strawberries on it, basket of strawberries, hat with strawberries, chocolate covered strawberries, mm, embarrassing ladybug, cottage, and then some shoes. Next we have the journal add-on. The floral deco add-on. and the alcohol ink swatch on. on. So, super pretty, love her. Let's talk about some of this foil now. We have some seasonal foil and some not so seasonal foil here. So let's get started. We have some fruit farm elements, which I don't even think these are in order. Yep, they're completely out of order. We gotta have a sneak peek of the other sheets, I guess. So. Just kidding, first sheet was supposed to be fruits. So we have our fruits here. You have strawberries, cherries, lemons, and apples. We have some fruit branches. So we have like some lemon, almost branches, and some like other different types of fruits on branches. I feel like this kit, we released August this week because it was like on a schedule to release it and then the strawberry was like one of our older kits that we had designed. Um, so I was like, oh, we should release this foil to go with the strawberry. But now that I think about it, some of this lemon stuff goes really well with the August kit as well. So not intentional, but it works out. We have these fences and ladders. Get some small fences, some full width fences, and some ladders here. And then here I'll just show you now. We have the fence washi. And then here are the fruit farm elements, which you got to see a little bit ago, but we have some signs, these like trees with ladders, um, some baskets and some other baskets as well. This is more like apple picking, but it's fine. And then here we have our, um, we have three sheets that are like permanent this week. Um, so these are the simple full box frames, the ink stroke, and the dotted line full box frames. So, um, yeah, I'm getting a lot of requests for stuff like this. So that's what we're doing. Uh, some people have been taking like our kind of like divider, like like this dotted line and the the solid line and the dotted line um, as a um, like try to like frame around a full box. Sorry, I didn't even like explain what this is if you're not familiar, but um, these go around the edges of your full boxes. A lot of people use them when, um, I'm not sure if you've seen on social media, but they'll take like one full box this way and one full box this way and kind of layer them on top of each other. And um, these are really good, in my opinion, for like outlining the box that's overlapping because it kind of like shows you the clear divide between the boxes that are laying on top of each other, if that makes sense. Um, I don't even know if I have a kit here that I can show you. Ooh, this one's a basically winter kit, but it's fine. Um, so you would just like, and it's in silver, so you would just take this and lay it over the edge to like outline the box. I would do it here, but I feel like I'm just gonna mess it up, so. But you just put it on the edge to outline it. And they're two separate pieces because we wouldn't be able to fit very many on a sheet. You can see that there. Um, if we just did like a full like piece. Um, so you can, this gives you the option to like line one corner or one side if you want. And then you can also um, 
um, line both sides by just using two of them. Sorry, lost my train of thought for a second, but you get a whole bunch on here to hopefully help you out. I don't know why I'm attempting to put this back down, but I'm now, de now I'm determined, so let me do that. I've already gone off topic on this video at least three or four times, so I think it's okay if it we wait for me to put this back down for a sec. Anyway, um, and then here you also get some ones that only line the bottom or only line the side. So just depending on what you're looking for, just to fill in some space. Um, I'm gonna put that to the side before I mess with it more. Here are these ink stroke, ink stroke, ink stroke full box frames. I guess I'm having a stroke, um, and I have other stickers sticking on me now. Um, these ones line the bottom, and these ones line the side. Um, yeah, so these aren't like put together for you like the other one, other two are, but with like the ink stroke, it's kind of, um, I feel like it's a little bit more like organic if you keep it like sketchy and maybe they don't necessarily connect at the corner, but it's up to you. And then last but not least, we have the um, dotted line full box frames. So they're like the same as that divider that everyone loves and the washi, but it's the full box frame. So. I hope that you guys enjoy these. Um, and that's actually everything that I have for you guys today. So I hope that you enjoy this week's new releases. We're actually going to be going out of town this Sunday. Um, we're going to Korea to go visit my husband's family and it'll be my parents' first time joining us. And I've been a couple times now, but, um, yeah, we're going for two weeks. Um, so if we're a little slow on like responding to like DMs or emails, that's why, but we still will be responding to them. Um, and then in terms of like, we're still going to have new releases as usual. I'm going to pre-film all my videos. Ooh, thinking about that, it's stressing me out a little bit, but I'm going to pre-film all my videos for the two releases for while we are not in town, but um, um, my team will just be holding it down here at the fort. We'll be, um, fulfilling orders and, um, you know, if any customer service stuff needs to be attended to in terms of like a lost package or replacement or whatever, um, they'll be able to fulfill those too. So you don't have to wait like two weeks for if something's wrong. So, um, yeah, but that just kind of wanted to give like a little bit of a heads up and you I probably could have just said nothing and you wouldn't really notice, but, um, I just wanted to be a little bit transparent in case something goes awry. Um, so yeah, that is everything for this week. I hope that you enjoy this week's new releases. Um, as usual, every single week, you can get an additional 10% off of these items, including this tape, um, this week only. And then on Sunday, um, that'll be the end. Um, Let's see. I think that is it. Um, yeah. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and I will talk to you later. Bye.